Hello everyone, you're just in time for NCCB's Children's Club. Let's say the opening prayer. We come with thanks and praise to bless your holy name. We gather with an open heart to learn all of your ways. We anticipate the joy in store for us today. We ask that we won't leave your presence the same way we came. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hi everyone. I'm stretching. I signed up for a big jumping competition. Do you want to join me? Let's see who can do the stretches. So I'm going to start from the beginning. Okay. Let's go. Other arm. And then, well done guys. So now what we're going to do is practice our jump. So let's all go down in one, two, three. Crouch down. And when I say go, we're going to jump. And go. Oh, oh. oh my back really hurts. Let's see what's going to happen in today's show and then we'll get back to it. Coming up today, praise and worship, story time and memory verse. Let's have some fun. Time for praise and worship. You're the only one, you're the only one 
sing, You are the way, the truth, and the life. Come on, let me hear you. You are the way, the truth, and the life. We live by faith and not by sight for you. We live in all for you. I could be higher. You are the way, the truth, and the life. We live by faith and not by sight. another story. Today's story is about evangelism. Evangelism is about telling people about Jesus. Today's story comes from Acts chapter 2 from verse 14. Peter went on to say, Jesus, the man from Nazareth, came with God's authority to do his work. God did many powerful and special things through him. These miracles showed you clearly that God had sent him. These things happened here and you saw them. God knew that Jesus' enemies would give him to you. In that way, you crucified him. But after his death, God caused him to become alive again. God saved Jesus from the power of death. It was impossible for death to keep hold of him. God took Jesus back to heaven. He has made Jesus sit at his right side, the most important place. Jesus received the Holy Spirit from the Father so that he could give the Spirit to us. This is what God had promised to do. God has poured his Holy Spirit onto us. Now you are seeing and hearing the results of this. The people heard what Peter said to them. They were very upset. 
So they said to Peter, tell us what we should do. Peter said to them, each of you must stop doing the wrong things. You must change how you live. If you believe in Jesus Christ, then he will baptize you. God will forgive you for the wrong things that you have done. Then you will receive the Holy Spirit, who is God's gift to you. Many of the people who listened to Peter believed his message. So the disciples baptized those people. About 3,000 people who believed in Jesus joined the group that same day. What's your name? Oh, nice to meet you. So today we're going to learn a new memory verse and that memory verse is John 3.16 and it reads, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that anyone who believes in him will not be lost but have eternal life. So are you ready? Let's do this. <laughs> God loves the world so much that he gave his only son. If you believe, if you believe, you can have eternal life. Well done! You ready? Let's go. Do you believe? I believe. Do you believe? I believe. So I have eternal life. Again, do you believe? I believe. Do you believe? I believe. So I have eternal life. Well done. You are great. So now I'm going to get you to practice. So now I'm gonna try with the music. Are you ready? Okay, so I'm gonna count you in and then we're gonna try it together, okay? You can get a little groove on. God loves the world so much that he gave his only son. If you believe, if you believe, you can have eternal life. God loves the world so much that he gave his only son. If you believe, if you believe, you can have eternal life. Do you believe? Do you believe? So I have eternal life. Do you believe? Do you believe? So I have eternal life. Do you believe? Do you believe? So I have eternal life. Do you believe? Do you believe? So I have eternal life. God loves the world so much that he gave his only son. If you believe, if you believe, you can have eternal life. God loves the world so much that he gave his only son. If you believe, if you believe, you can have eternal life. Do you believe? Do you believe? So I have eternal life. Do you believe? Do you believe? So I have eternal life. Do you believe? Do you believe? So I have eternal life. Do you believe? Do you believe? So I have eternal life.
today. Did you enjoy it? Because I did. Okay, so see you next week. Bye. I really love the memory verse that we learned, John 3, 16. It shows that God loves us and he has a very big heart for us. Well, enjoy this week and remember, God loves you and he has a very big heart. Bye. Let us say the closing prayer. Thank you, Lord, for a wonderful time in your presence. We pray that everything we have learnt today will help us, shape us and make us become all that you want us to be. In Jesus' name, Amen. Goodbye. See you next week.